And it just, oh, and it just so happens, by the way, Ranger Cookie, uh, besides you being a uh, practicing assassin today, what brings you into the neighborhood? Well, I brought my bag of flammables. Flammables? Oh, do say. Flammables, you say. Flammables. Just what kind of flammables do you have in that there bag? <laughs> you name it, I got it. Name uh, something I don't have. Do you have, um, do you have anything that happens to really, re <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Do you got that? <laughs> <laughs> yep, 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 yep. I was going to say, do you have anything that happens to fall along the line of nuclear activity? Uh, well, if we put it all together, we might. Yes, I happen to have one in my backpack, and it's called a... Nuclear uh, something blah 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 thing. Yes, and it has a code name, T-A-M-P-O-N. H-T-H-M-P-A. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to play with this bag today while we are cooking at the cooking show. We're here, Ashley. Let's be serious for just a minute. We're sweating our rear ends off out here. Just for your entertainment. As a matter of fact, it's like this right here. We've been doing this most of the afternoon. Yes, we've only got one rag, and we're trying to make sure that we don't sweat before the camera. Now, but in reality, hey, how do we swap signs? Is that your best sign? No. Yes. This is not my best side either. <laughs> oh, this is my best side. Yes. <laughs> we got always a good side on us somewhere. But we decided to come out here behind the little area. For those of you who are subscribed to Ranger Cookie, this happened to be his video, and y'all don't know me yet, and it's probably good that you don't know me yet. <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> but come check him out. That's land, man. Wait a minute. Man land. Hot dog, he got it right. <laughs> <laughs> Me finally. And this right here happened to be Donnie Pavellini of Donnie Pavellini Outdoors. I uh, hope you enjoy my video. <laughs> Oh wait, you're a lot shorter than I thought. That's right. And where's the mustache? You grew the rest of it around there. Hey, you're not Donnie. Hell no, I'm Ranger Cookie. <laughs> That's right. But what we're doing today, we're trying to shoot two separate videos and we're kind of doing it at the same time because believe me, Donnie, I don't know about you, bud, but this is hot, hot. today. All right, well, I hope you enjoy this crazy videos of us playing with fire. I hope we don't catch the woods on fire. Uh, I hope well, I don't catch you on fire. You look flammable. Uh, not with all the sweat. I think I'm pretty much flammable proof. <laughs> well, so, me, Mr. Ranger Cookie, and Spider-Man, we're going to put on a show. Y'all stay around, stick tuned, be good, behave, and all these B words that we can't think of right now because it's too hot to think. Well, <laughs> well we're going to do a test real quick on our fire stuff. So, go ahead. Yes, what Ranger Cookie has right there happens to be a uh, Mountain Man's ferro rod that I bought from him, and uh, believe me, it works. So, we all know that pine straw is flammable, and to uh, save for the sake of grace, what we're testing here is a technique that I happen to see on YouTube. Straight up and down, pull away, one strike, and it's lit. Yes, the idea is behind this. When you take your knife and you're sitting here and you're trying to hold your knife steady, there's a chance that when you pull away with your ferro rod, your knife wants to go into the tinder and blow it away. But Mr. 80's podcast channel, if I've got that correct, suggested that you put your ferro rod directly above it and then brace your hand with a knife in it. You were putting it out for a purpose. That once you brace your hand either on a rock or a limb, anything wood, we could use this as an example, your knife is now braced, and when you pull your ferro rod away, the sparks go directly down into the tinder, and guess what, ladies and gentlemen, we know with a cotton ball it works. It seems like it works all the time. We've done this test, what, two, three times already? Yeah. Let's do this again. We got pine straw. Okay, it shouldn't catch up, right? It should not catch up. And... Let's just see. We're using this as the tender. So and we're going to do something else, or we're going to do the same. Let's do the same thing. Let's use this right here. We're going to improvise. Brace your hand any way you want to on that. Of course, that's not very, very steady. All right. And he's going to simply go straight up from and pull away. Oh. And you're still at an angle. See how bad it is to break that habit? Oh, so you want to straight the up? The ferro rod has to be straight up. Oh. There we go. 
I thought I did that a while ago. You did that. There we go. It seems to work. Now, we're going to try this again. Put you out. Put you out right quick. One more little cotton ball. Now we're going to try it the way that we've always been taught. Oh. See how, well, it did light, but see how the knife wants to go into the tender and knock it out of the way? But we're talking with a professional here who's yeah. actually executing this particular thing, and it works very, very well if you know what you're doing. So, that being out of the way, we're going to get into the actual fire test. What is flammable and what is not? What's the first thing on the menu today? <laughs> what can you use with a pack of matches, a lighter, a magnifying glass, or in the fire ski rod? So, let's find out. Uh, let's start off with... <laughs> no. There you go. Polyester. Polyester. Is it flammable? I'm going to try it. I'll just go ahead and do the fire sheet. If this can light that, anything else can light it except for the magnifying glass. I saw the spark. Sparking. It's sparking all around it. Wow. It's burning right through it. But it's not actually catching. Oh, oh there it goes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, polyester. Hang on, let's see if I can do it. It, <laughs> it wants to. It's like a burning fuse. Well, okay. you will die. You will die on the polyester. Grab the uh, grab the lighter. Let's right. see how it lights up with an actual lighter. Let me find a lighter that runs. You know, actually run. Eh, it looks like I don't have a lighter that has any fuse in any of them. Here you go. <laughs> I would die out here. Oh, ah, there we go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, polyester does not work. It is it, burning here. You can see it on camera. It's actually burning through, but it is a more of a melter. So mm. this is a fail. So throw it onto the fail side. Ow! It stuck to my finger. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> All right. I heard that the tater chip can burn. But, what's the difference from lighting it with the fire seed rod versus the lighter? You missed. There it hit. Direct hit. All right. But I'm actually thinking. Hold on. I'm actually thinking. If my hands aren't too wet. Yeah, we didn't crumble it up. But my fingers are probably full of moisture because it's so hot and humid out here. But that's part of the realism. We need a fire. And all we've got is a tater chip. A and tater a chip! Rod. We're going to die. We're going to start Ignore all the pine straw. Pretend it's not here. It is showering everywhere. Nope. No can do. Eh. Let's see if you can find a working lighter. Lighter, lighter. The oil to, from the potato chip. I think you're supposed to hold it over. Yes, I think you're right. The oil from the corn chip works very well. Well, we got fire. But it's, you know what? He's got some old tater chips. They're probably like 10 years old. <laughs> so we could say maybe a fail. Or maybe we... I would say that this is plausible. Maybe. Plausible. Possible. Possible. But in this case, fail. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's put it in this hole. Oh, yeah. Let's dig that hole. <laughs> All right. We're trying to be cleanly. Remember, All right. leave no trace. Styrofoam. Styrofoam. Oh, very good attempt. All right. Let's, first, let's get some... You know how styrofoam is. Let's get some uh, pieces... Are your hands as wet as mine? No, dry. <laughs> I'm seeing got holes going in them. Wow, pull back for just a second. Can y'all see that? Look at all them specks in there. I hope <laughs> you can see that on camera. All right. Nope, just 
way. A bit more. It, it shows a little Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. We'll see. What oh, we he's got the wide angle on there. All right. Lighter. Lighter. <laughs> I was going to say something else. She's lit. <laughs> All right. Okay. The striker versus the lighter. Stri uh, the lighter wins. On this is a good one, but you got to use the lighter. So it works best on lighter. Or the matches, so that's the same thing. We never try the magnifying glass because we don't have sun. Wait, there's some sun. There's some sun. It just popped out. <laughs> but is it enough? Oh yeah, I can start a fire with that because that's well, it's very sooty. Bad for the environment. Um, but hey, I can start a fire with this. So if we're I find trying a, to get a star. Yeah. yeah. A star. Yes. We're trying to get a star. <laughs> we're trying to get a fire started. What I'm trying to say. Bad for the environment, but good for you to survive. Right. So we're going to throw that in the middle because it's uh, a, a negative because it's... A negative with a ferroceum rod. Yeah. But a very positive with an actual lighter. lighter. <laughs> All right, next test. You know what? I'm not picking that up. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Who wants to pick that up? All right. Um, we know that these fire starters... Yep. Start with what? Only the lighter, correct? Uh, pretty much a lighter, and it has to be, uh... So well, let's find out. Let's find out. Let's we'll see if... We'll put it out and save it. Let's see if the, uh... The, uh... Fire steed rye can light this. We'll probably have to crumble it up. It's like dog food. Let's see a piece. Try not to get it too wet, because my hands are sweaty. We're going to start this with a lighter first. I was going to break it up. Yes, but I'm going to try it whole. Because I've seen this done before, actually. Where you break it, the fibers are exposed. I hope this is sticking up. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we got smolder. I know, definitely. The fire seed rise is not going to work on this. Now, item. however, I have heard that you got to rough it up. Once it's rough, we need something under there to catch it. Uh, let's see. Uh, we got any aluminum? aluminum? I did not bring in aluminum. Nim, nim, nim. How about a piece of paper? Okay, we'll try it with that. <laughs> if the paper catches on, folks, that doesn't count. I just want to rough it up. So you're roughing the stick up, or you're trying to roughing the stick up, but I'm actually catching what's underneath it as well. So that might work with so, the fire seed. Well, let's, if put, you... let's put some on the paper just to be on the safe side. But we're supposed to rough this up. And I'm trying not to get my fingers in there because they are completely soaked. Now, ferroceum, cereums. The ferro cereal. Hmm. Looks to me like we're crap out of luck. All right, we're going to try the, the ashes at the bottom. The ashes at the and we're going to test the paper at the same time. You want to lighten it? Yes, wax crepe paper. <laughs> All right, that's a fail for the uh, the uh, rod. So let's see what happens if you uh, light it with a lighter. What is this stuff again? This is uh, the stuff you buy at the uh, Walmart. Uh, 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 there we go. A little bit of a flame. Oop, there it is. Well, the fire seed rod didn't write the 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 the, the uh, crumbs from this but hey it lights with a lighter well that's a good thing for a lighter so we're gonna put that is definitely a plausibility yes for the lighter no for the ferro rod now look if you happen to get this thing going with a ferro rod then you've done a lot better than we have <laughs> yeah all right next test Let's see what we got. Remember, what we're testing here is something that works right every single time when you need it. Okay, you know these little plants? Oh, yes. You know what? Let me give you a little bit of advice I found out. I found these, this go poof, and they're yes, done. Yes, they go poof. Do not compress these or try to light these when they're compressed. You, they you, have to be fluffy. Yeah, Remember, fluffy. keep it fluffy. Always fluffy. Now they're going to try that with a lighter because I know it works well. Yeah. Stand clear. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Poof, there it is. But can you start a fire with that within a reasonable time? You can as long as you have something like this on top. Okay. Grab some more. 
quite more. Uh, See, grab a little bit more because that won't catch on fire. I don't think it will. Just a teeny bit. Let's put this right here. Say if you have some pine straw, you know how difficult pine straw is. Yep. And it doesn't want to catch that spark unless it's processed. I'm going to put a little bit on top. Yes. Where are you going to shoot it at? I'm going to shoot it right, right there in a okay. little hole. There, right that'll there. be a good test right there. All right. Now. Let's... And you got to manipulate it a little bit. Oh, I was too late. Here we go. Try number two. Hot dog. There we go. I tell you one thing, it just you know flames up and it just goes out. You know what? That's surprising. Yeah, I, I would have bet my paycheck no, on that. No, you will. It will work. It will it work. work. It might you. There, there you go. go. All right. So that's a good one, but you got to pay attention. So if you can light with the spare sieve rod, it's definitely going to light with a lighter. So we're going to put that on the yes. Wee! We got two yes. 100%. We got, yes. we got one half and one a no. Okay, both. I'm playing fire department. Fire department. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Do not try this at home. Yeah. All right, let's put this to the side, keeping a fresh pit. We do not want any excuses. Yeah. We'll say, oh, you had embers in the bed, and no wonder it did. All right. A crate. Ah, yes. Now, let's see. Hand me one little chunk. While you're doing that, I'm going to try this. I'm going to rough one up on them. Yeah, that's what I was hoping I was doing. I'm going to get the fibers exposed. You want to hit stop? I'm going to take a break? Yeah.